Yeah, you can hear the boos from a lot of the crowd right there. Senator Mitt Romney facing an angry crowd at the Utah Republican Party convention. Utah's dominant political party held its annual state convention today. It's the first time Utah Republicans have gathered in person since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has been following this for us all throughout the day. He brings us the latest from the Maverick Center. The point of this political convention is to pick new party leadership, but Republican delegates turned on some of their elected leaders, including Senator Mitt Romney. <laughs> Senator Mitt Romney was loudly booed by Republican delegates, so much so that he struggled to give his speech. Thank you. Show respect. So, yeah, I understand that uh, I have a few folks that don't like me terribly much, and I, I'm sorry about that, but I, I express my mind as I believe is right, and I follow my conscience as I believe is right. And, uh, and I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm not a fan of the current president's policies. Utah Republican Party delegates narrowly rejected a resolution to censure him for his votes to impeach President Trump. I believe this resolution is actually a positive. If we're a party of principle, we don't do this. Some of you that hate me actually haven't been paying attention. To Some delegates also booed Governor Spencer Cox, seemingly yes. angry about COVID-19 restrictions. He gave them some good news, promising health orders will be terminated next week. At the end of the school year, there will be no more masks and there will, there will be no more masks next fall. That is done. Public health orders require any gathering over 50 people must wear masks, but we didn't see a lot of that here in the Maverick Center. Utah! The biggest cheers belong to Senator Mike Lee and other members of Utah's congressional delegation. I'll quit calling you a socialist if you'll quit being a socialist. We love our country, God, family, respect women and authority. That's who we are. A little over 2,000 delegates attended the convention. That's about half of what it's been in previous years. The outgoing Utah Republican Party chair warned about storm clouds on the horizon as states around Utah start turning blue and voting for Democrats. It's also something the newly elected party chair is worried about. And we want to keep the state red. We want to make sure that there's a place in this party for everyone and that new people moving here to the state feel like they are welcome in our party. Now, the next big goal for the party is ensuring Republican control of political offices in 2022. At the Maverick Center in West Valley City, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. The Utah Democratic Party will hold its convention at the end of June. That convention will not be in person. It will be virtual because of COVID-19 concerns.